Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Sarah, and as you can see, I'm not in the library today. I'm here at Remington Nature Center in St. Joe. We're doing a special story time, as you can tell, about <gasps> what's this? Mm-hmm. Bats. We're going to do a special bat story time today, and there is a reason for that. Coming up on the 30th of October, we're going to be doing a program with Remington Nature's own Shelly Cox about bats via Zoom. So go ahead and sign up through our website for that. Or if you manage to miss the program, you can go ahead and watch it later. We'll post it to our YouTube channel because we will be recording it. So be sure to tune in for that. It's Friday, October 30th from 10 until 10.30 in the morning. So a nice short program if you have kiddos that don't have a long attention span or adults that might not have a long attention span. <laughs> So let's get started today with our opening song. This is Old MacDonald Had a Farm by Mr. Eric and Mr. One, Michael. Uh, two, three. Ready, Mix Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on his farm he had a cow. E I E I O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here, moo, there, moo, everywhere. So we have a straight line, and then we have bump, bump. I think you can do that, okay? So finger pencils out, straight line down and off, then we'll go back to the top and go bump, bump, just like that, the letter B. Let's do it one more time, make sure we really have those down. So straight line down and off, then finger pencil up to the top and go bump, bump, just like that, B for bat. And... I have a book here. It's called The Bat Book. It's a nice, thick book. You'll be happy to hear. I'm not reading all of it today. We'll read a few pages. Where do bats live? Bats are found all over the world except for the North and South Poles, where it is too cold for them to live. Hoary bats live in forest. Desert long-eared bats live in deserts. Free-tailed bats live in cities. Bats are nearly everywhere and have an effect on us all. There are over 1,300 species of bats. And look, some are big, some are small, some are fast, some of them can sing. Some bats live long lives, 40 years old or longer, and some bats have style. Look at that hairdo, huh? The hairs on a male Chapin's free-tailed bat's head stick up like a spiked hairdo. Now, you may be asking, what is a bat? A bat is the only mammal that can fly. Mammals are a large group of animals that include humans. Like humans, bats are warm-blooded, have a bony skeleton, and give birth to live babies instead of laying eggs. And during the day, they sleep. See you sleeping upside down. And during the night, bats are awake. They're nocturnal, which means they are active when it is dark. This is when they look for food, such as <gasps> insects. Most bats live together in a large group called a colony. The place where bats live is called a roost. 
in the roost, bats sleep, groom themselves, and have babies. So, what do you think bats do when it's cold? <gasps> Some bats live in parts of the world where there are cold winters. During these chilly months, there's not enough food around for bats to eat. To survive the winter, they hibernate, which means they go into a deep sleep, living off the fat they have stored up over the warmer months. Now, that's how they do when it's cold. See the snowflakes? What about when it's warm? During warm nights, bats are busy finding and eating food such as insects. Female bats also gather together once a year to have babies. Each female bat gives birth to one baby called a pup. She cares for her pup by feeding it with milk until the young bat is ready to fly. And this is an artist's rendition of what bats look like. But Miss Shelley Cox gave me this to show y'all. These are some bats. This is an Acumate horseshoe bat, and this is Bly's horseshoe bat. So as you can see, they have wings. They can wrap their wings around their bodies when roosting, and they have eyes, and they have snouts. Those are mega bats. The micro bats are the same, but they're smaller. They have tails, though. This one doesn't. And there's the horseshoe bat like we just saw. And this is our last page in this book, I promise. The bat's body. So look, there's a thumb, its second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger. And where is fingers? In its wing. Pretty neat, huh? Some bats can see very well with their eyes. Others rely more on hearing and sense of smell to know what's around them. Small, sharp teeth help a bat bite into fruits or prey. A bat has fur that keeps it warm. Curved, sharp claws on a bat's toes help it look, hook into surfaces while hanging upside down. Finger bones inside a bat's wings are light and bendy. Having a flexible finger bones and joints means that bats are more agile when flying than most birds are. And if you want to know more about bats, be sure to tune into our program on the 30th. And I know Miss Shelley will have some awesome stuff to share with you. And if you want to come in to Remington Nature Center and see all this awesome stuff behind me in person, they're open normal hours. Just bring a mask and you're good. Okay. And on that note, let's do our next song. This is It's Fun to Clap by Kimbo. It's fun to clap your hands to the music. It's fun to clap, 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 clap. Cause clapping is fun. Clapping is fun to do. Clap, 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 clap. Good job. Ready it's snap? fun to snap your fingers to the music. It's fun to snap, 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 snap. Cause snapping is fun. Snapping is fun to do. Snap, 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 snap. Okay, we're gonna clap again. It's fun to clap your hands with the music. It's fun to clap, 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 clap. Cause clapping is fun. Clapping is fun to do. Clap, 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 clap. Good job. Okay, let's do a bat belt story. So, there's one little bat hanging in the steeple, and then <gasps> another bat flies in the door. How many bats? Ooh, I tried flying away too. How many bats are hanging in my belfry? We have one, two. That makes two bats in my belfry. Wonderful, but wait, there's more. <gasps> Whoa, here comes another bat. So how many bats are in my belfry? Just covered up his eyes. Goodness, he's not gonna be able to see while he's sleeping, ha ha. So one, two, three bats in my belfry. Oh, and look, here flies another one in the door. So we have one, two, three four bats in the belfry. And then we have four bats hanging in the steeple. In flies one more. How many bats does that make? One, two, three, four, five bats hanging in my belfry, snuggled up and flying no more. And remember from our book, if they're hanging upside down and they have their 
claws hooked into their roost. Mm -hmm. They're probably sleeping and they sleep together in a colony, remember? Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, so the first book we read was Facts, True Stories About Bats. This one is fiction by Morag Hood. It means it's a story, it's made up about a bat. And the title is I Am Bat. Nice and simple. I am bat. I do not like mornings. I like cherries. They are my favorite thing. They are juicy and red and delicious and they are mine. Do not take my cherries. Do you think bat is very good at sharing? Yeah, I don't think so either. If you take my cherries, I will be angry. I will be ferocious like a lion, but smaller with wings. I will just leave my cherries here. Do not touch them. I will know if you take one. Are you taking his cherries? No. Well, somebody's taking his cherries. Look at that. My cherries! Some of them are missing! Where did they go? Uh-oh, something green. It's grabbing those cherries. Who stole my cherries? Uh-oh, someone else is stealing some cherries. Was it you? Is that you right there stealing his cherries? No. Who is that then? Mm -hmm. Those are ants, you're right. My poor cherries, I will never be happy again. Ooh, what's that? Mm -hmm. A pear! I like pears. I am that. Do not take my pear. What's he doing to the pear? Mm-hmm. He's gonna eat it. Pretty tasty, huh? Okay, let's do our last song. This is Shaken Like a Leafy Tree by the Wiggles. And if you've gotten one of our story time kits, now is the time to get it out because you're gonna want your shaky egg. You can use the scarf if you want, but obviously the shaky egg makes more noise. Totally up to you. So. Shaken like a leafy tree. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I'll see y'all next week.